293 Alexandria's number one hit music station. We have a guest joining us by phone this morning. That would be the superintendent for Rapids Parish School Board, Jeff Powell. Jeff, good morning. Thanks for calling in. Good morning. Thanks for giving us the opportunity. Good morning, Jeff. Absolutely. So what are some of the things that you and the school board are doing in response to COVID-19? Well, as you know, this is just unprecedented time, so we're coming up with a variety of different ways to uh, to help our teachers stay connected with our kids and help our parents as they try to keep our students uh, intellectually stimulated while at home, uh, in addition to our daily feeding program that we have. So a uh, variety of things as, as we're trying to, uh, still trying to adjust to, to this new normal or this new yeah. reality that we're living in. You came in at an awesome time as superintendent, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as Mark Hamlin and I talked the other day, it can only get easier after this first year. I <laughs> right? I mean, you've covered a lot in this very first year. So tell us about the feeding program at the schools. I know there were, what, 27 sites? Yeah, so we, we were able to start initially with 27 sites when all this first uh, mm-hmm. went down, tried to make sure we had a site in, in every uh, neighborhood uh, that we could across the parish. But as it looked like, uh, you know, as the governor made more proclamations and, and recommendations across the state, uh, we had to move to a more kind of long-term sustainable uh, program. Yeah. So we, we're down to seven sites. Um, those sites are uh, Peabody, Nackman, um, Pineville Elementary, Bolton, Buckeye High School, and uh, Glenmora High School. Awesome. And every day from 9 to 11, those who, who need um, food, you can definitely go by and pick that up. And, um, you know, all we're doing is tracking the number of uh, number of meals that we're, we're serving. So do they day. just drive through, like drive up in front of the school? Because I've seen at Nackman they have like a table set up. That's right. We we try to limit the uh, the physical contact between our our servers as well as the uh, the population, the the general public that comes through there. So you'll just come up, tell them how many you need, and somebody will bring it awesome. to your car in most cases. Awesome. So for the kids and parents who are at home right now, what About are some of the things? <laughs> yeah. What are some of the things you recommend for them to do at home right now? Well, some of the uh, the great resources that we have on our website is a good place to start. Uh, RPSB.us. You'll see very, one of the very first things that you're able to access is our COVID-19 resources. And on there, there's there's a variety of things, uh, but but one of the things is instructional resources there by age group. Uh, so go there. there. There's a lot of things. There's some digital resources. There's some things that you can print. Of course, at our feeding sites, we, uh, hand, we've handed out over thousands and thousands of, of just uh, paper copies of some of That's those instructional awesome. resources as well if you don't have access to Internet. But but that uh, our website and our social media is where we continuously uh, try to post. Just remind everybody that our official uh, Rapids Parish School Board Facebook page is exactly that, Rapids Parish School Board. That's it, Rapids Parish School Board uh, on Facebook, and then, of course, our website, rpsb.us. Awesome. Now I have to ask, because there's been so many really beautiful things that have come out of this, one of those being I love the teachers reading the books online. Yeah. Love yeah. that. The kids get to see that. Love the teachers riding around and just checking up on their students riding through the neighborhood. But the <laughs> biggest one I'm loving is the bear hunt. Oh, are you amazing. and your kids doing the bear hunt? <laughs> we are. Uh, we are. We see them through, all through our neighborhood, and, and I'm with you. You know, it, just seeing the way our community is coming together, you know, it, sometimes it takes uh, just major disruption yeah. to, to draw people together, but uh, so many amazing things that are, that are not necessarily official RPSB things, but, man, the, the, the chalk painting stuff going oh on gosh. on driveways and, yeah. and windows, the, like you said, the, the reading, and a and, and big shout-out to our friends, uh, uh, the uh, Trish Lula and, and Doug Gann and them that are doing the Sin La Reads campaign. Yes. We're, we're helping with that as well. Loving all of the things. It's, you know, we talk here at, at, at RPSB about being better together, and, and mm-hmm. I was thinking this morning about so many different examples that we're seeing uh, that right now. So it's, I, just, it's amazing seeing all of it. I definitely have joked and called this, I joked rather, at the very beginning and was like, man, this could be a hard reset for our society. <laughs> and, you know, to be honest with you, there have been so many many powerful and moving things that have come out of this that I think are just really beautiful that we should be able to keep and I'm really impressed with the teachers. I'm really impressed with all you guys are doing with the Rapids Parish School Board. We've taken part in some of the Better Together, the yeah. uh, Together Tuesdays. And yeah. Now that, that takes on a whole different meaning. Oh, man, man. <laughs> We're missing the Better Together or the Together Tuesdays. We're missing that. But, I mean, love seeing how you're leading our community and your staff is doing an amazing job. 
Well, um, we've got a lot of really great people mm-hmm. and a lot of really hard work, but but uh, exceptional work for sure. I, I, I has, you know never want to go without giving a big shout out to our school food service workers, oh, yeah. our manager Miss uh, Davis and her team that have they have they've not stopped. You know when when everything else seems to have slowed down tremendously mm-hmm. or, or stopped. Our school food service technicians and managers are, are out there every single day, many times through the weekends, to make sure because it's you know it's getting more and more difficult to get the food items in yeah. because of our supply chains and things like that. But but they're working to make sure that our kids our kids eat and and like you said, our teachers who are out there coming up with Amazing. some of the most creative ways to stay connected with their kids. Amazing. And families. I think we, some we teachers are having problems community. with uh, that. My mother's a teacher. And yeah, Josh. They're so a used to teaching. That's what they do. They love what they do, so they're mm-hmm. they don't know what to do right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think that's a lot of us, right? When when what you what you spend the majority of your time on is kind of taken away from mm-hmm. you. It's it's like like was just said. You you have to kind of hit a reset button. And, and I do. I agree. I hope that as we come out of this, that that we in a lot of cases have readjusted our priorities. Yeah. And, and you know, I thank God that that we're given a little bit more time to spend with our families yes. right now. That is drawing us closer and and being very intentional about what we're doing with that time. I know my family and I are really enjoying some of the time that we're getting together exactly, right now. Exactly, exactly. Well, if there was one thing that you would like to leave with people, um, something that could really stick with them, what would that be? Not to put you on the spot or anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, a, that's a huge thing. And I, and I think right now, and, and it's, it's a lot of soul searching going on mm-hmm. right now. And, and I would say that the biggest thing, that I would say is continue to just love your family, draw yeah. your family close to you right now, and and hit that hard reset right mm-hmm. now. Think, reflect on what life was like prior to COVID nineteen, and be planning on what life is going to be like after COVID nineteen. To hold on to to these new uh, found uh, priorities of of spending time with family, reading together as a family, and just having great conversations together. That's yeah. That's the hard reset that I know the Powells are working on right now. Exactly. Well, I can definitely say that's what's going on in, in Josh and I's <laughs> households. It's funny because every morning we come in and we talk about that. But thank you so much. It's always great to hear from you. Thank you to all of you guys that are really answering your service call of teaching and educating and feeding and supporting and nourishing our future generations. Thank you guys for all that y'all do. Thanks and for calling in, Jeff. We appreciate it. Thank you all for the opportunity.